Welcome back everyone to the Mac Team Builder Dynasty. Yeah, and we are starting right away with our challenge here for the big game, Clemson versus Southern Michigan. So what does the wheel have to say? Uh, Lady Luck, what do you got? Triple option only. Now Great. we should say you're gonna play with the option playbook. So you are allowed to pass. So in the spirit of the rule, yeah, you're, you're running the option playbook. So let's see, you're playing Clemson, so what's the strategy here? It's just grind down the clock so you don't get embarrassed? If we wanted to run it with that type of mentality, yeah. Like, what, why is Southern Michigan running the read option only or the option playbook? Yeah, it's pretty much that. We know that we are under man. Yeah, and this is good Clemson, too. Like... They're not having some major offensive issues like they had in real life. So, yeah, going to Death Valley, you are going to die. That's that's what's probably going to happen. In all honesty, that wasn't really a bad drive, per se. We got a first down. Yeah. But that wasn't so good. First down and 10, and big bomb out here oh. to Scroggins. Some good deflection there. Can we get more of that? Third down and 10, and an incompletion. We stopped them. Okay, maybe it is bad offensive collapse, uh -oh. but... You get a, a little bit of a mistake there. Switzer recovers, though. You guys aren't familiar with running these option pitches. No, and then we've got a little pass play going on here. We're just trying to get this. Look at the pressure. We just got to get it out here to Faulkner, but he's going to get destroyed. Third down and 16, a little play action. Nobody's falling for that, but nice. Wow, really good route. That must have been it. a focus point in practice here. First down and 10, and uh-oh. Just everybody crashed on Dontrell Jack, and Murphy is going to pick it off and take this for a, it's an a interception. Fumble. It's, it's not a fumble. fumble. Yeah. Miles Murphy. Yeah. You know, in this game would probably help if it didn't just have these whack camera angles in the middle of that. Oh, yeah. Stone. I didn't know where. I didn't know who <laughs> yeah, I had Which way is of. up? Which way is down? Who knows? Fourth and six. Clemson showing you no respect here, even though it's a tight game. And they will convert. EJ Williams, big reception there. Yep. There's only 5.50 left in the second. Clemson gets on the board again. Aju Aju scoring for 14 to nothing. So it's like, you know, you're like, the ground game is melting the game away. At least you have that. But yeah. Nico Billups in the game. Yeah, we're trying to just get a little juice, get something going here, but not nothing doing here. 14 nothing as Clemson is beating up on us now as we've got a touchdown here to Aju Aju. It's like they're, you know, I could say they're not even blinking. Clemson's not blinking. They're not, they're, they haven't even given us a sneeze, right? Oh. Aju, Aju. There's pace. He's, he's going to pacing the rest of them. Yeah. I'm going to get you guys with dad jokes in this episode. I don't know. Weekend. Yeah. I'm a dad on the weekends, I guess. Oh, there's Nico Billups. He gets hit. Fourth and nine, so we got to punt the ball. So the oh. triple option is not really working offensively for Southern Michigan. I I feel like you would have a touchdown by now if you ran your normal offense. Because you usually do pretty good in the game. Yeah. yeah. For what you have. But it is Clemson, and we That's haven't true. really played a top-tier type of team like that. Yep. There's like this before. Pace. But yeah, we hold them to a field goal here, so it's not as bad as it possibly could have been in simulation right we probably would have gotten 60 hung on us here but 31 nothing nothing to be proud of i don't think but this one oh. you know mickens totally read that this is a route that i love to throw love to anticipate those fly routes those go routes and nico billups is going to get picked off given the given the youngster some time here and then what is that Kobe pace down at the down at the one yard line and then the flip on the option play touchdown is yeah you actually I, you knocked out dj in this game and they had to go to the backup. So, had some issues in this one. Saving. So, yeah, we did not finish the game. It's, you know, it's part of the problem. You're, you're using a uh, RPCS3 off of your PlayStation disc, mod. and okay. it's all mod. All right, so, yeah, so you get the points. You get the points. I will give them to you. What points? For running the option playbook. Your uh, recruiting, or your, your bonus points. I'll give them to you. I'll allow it. Western Michigan, Ohio Western. This Thanks. game is huge. Yeah, well, this game is big in the MAC West. Ohio Western's already behind the eight ball. They lost to Alpena. Western obviously not playing Alpena. So the advantage goes to Western, and they're up 7 to nothing right now. So Ohio Western got their work cut out for them here. 
Buchanan with a nice flip here. I feel like if Ohio Western loses, their odds of making the MAC championship game are very, very small. But they do respond. Tavion Leaf, guy that we've seen his name pop up in the box score quite often. And then another guy gets popped up in the box score often. Louis Savage, touchdown. What a run. Took some contact towards the two-yard line, but he's able to power through. Didn't get stopped by the one-yard line monster. First and ten, deep bomb here. Ooh, touchdown, Western. That's Corey Crooms. Yeah, and Ellaby might be the best quarterback in this game. He might be better than Buchanan. So you got to watch out for the Broncos. Yeah, Western's no slouch. Oh, like, no. you know, a lot of people might not be familiar with the Mac type of thing here, but uh, they're no slouch, man. 21-17 as we're jumping forward. About 11 seconds left in the second quarter, and a stiff arm, a leg churning drive. Gonna pick up that first down, set them up for a field goal attempt, and this one will be knocked through. So they cut the lead for Ohio Western down by one. Yeah, I don't know what Ohio West was celebrating, and I don't know why Western Michigan's bummed about it. I don't know. Because Ohio Western gifted him some points there right before the half. Oh. Almost making the play towards the back of the end zone. Ohio Western settling for three. Look at that push right there. Big time run by Jalen Hall for 18 yards. Let's look at that again. Boom. Oh my goodness. He kind of caught him off guard a little bit, I think. He just lost some momentum on his getting off the block. But yeah, a little deflection here. Waylon Miles with the deflection. Fourth down and two. Punt the football away. Now look at Louis Savage busting off some tacklers, but he's only going to get five. They were they were kind of pinned back there towards their end zone, but they will punt it back to Western Michigan. They'll drive some clock off. They're down to one. That's a catch by Sky Moore. Yeah, headed towards the NFL. So Western got some weapons, and they get to, to the tight end, Anthony Torres. There's two minutes left in the third. Western has the lead. Third down, screen. Oh, no. Got Ohio Western, up. they get it. The first with a stiff arm, the vicious stiff arm. Two stiff arms. That's that Raekwon Jeter. Ooh, the third yeah. down running back. Or the Brock third. Brock Bangs is out today. So yeah, he's not a stringer. Look at Louie. These running backs just keep driving, man. Even though they might be a little smaller, they can pack a punch here. Third down and six. Buchanan got to check it down to the right oh. side. That's Morrow Kirkpatrick on the little... Hitch route, and that. no, that's just, you got to go to the end zone. Tough, tough break here, uh, but here's a big play with Sky Moore in it. <laughs> nice defense. Ellaby going to toss it to him, touchdown. That's 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 tough, man. 34-27, but here's a big play for the Ohio Western Ospreys. It's Vita Jones Jr., 355 with third down and four. They're going to throw a screen to Tavion Leaf. He's going to get the first down. Here comes Louis Savage. Touchdown! Four yard run. They're going to tie the ball game up. You know, Ohio Western's been in a lot of close games in gameplay. So, this is, they're no strangers to this. They're going to get a fourth down stop right here. Fourth down and seven. Brings it up. Uh, now it's up to Ohio Western's offense. They can't get it rolling. One minute, 35 seconds, oh, but they yeah. will get a big defensive play there, sacking Ellaby. All right, third and 10, 50 seconds. Ellaby, ooh, oh. not a great throw. It will be fourth and 10. Ohio Western, chance here. They ran one play, didn't go very well, and they decided to grind the rest of that clock down. So the all-important coin flip, this is more than I think Ohio Western expected today. Western Michigan on the road, taking it to them, and they win the toss, go on defense, first and 10 here. Ohio Western starting with the ball. And wow. dangerous, dangerous throw to Pine, the tight end. Now they're running it with Savage. First down for Ospreys. All right, now it's third and 11, so nothing much going on this set of downs and a very, very oh. close play. All right, gut check time. What do you do? Got to take the points, right? In overtime, have to do it. So they, they kicked that up a good 37-34. This oh, little no. flip out here to Sky Moore, and he, oh, that is a great tackle right there. Sky Moore is a special talent. First down and no! goal, and a touchdown wide open, completely wide open. Look at how many Ospreys were in the middle of the field. Nobody was on the right sideline to cover that oh, route. Oh, my God. And they're going to lose the game. Western Michigan, not Ohio Western, in the driver's seat for the Mac West. 
and this also helps out Central Michigan and Ball State. Ohio Western needs to win out the rest of the way, and they need help. This is the problem when you play Alpina every time. Yeah. Yeah. Although, Ohio Western does get a win the following week here against Central Michigan. You guys notice I did not have the box scores for those two games, Clemson and the Western Michigan game. This is the problem with doing everything ahead of time. I will say that. Doing the entire season. It is tough. And again, it's you get some games that glitch out. So, yeah. so this just sucks. Ball State crushing oh Southern Michigan the that's, next week. That's just, I know that we suck, but this is unacceptable, man. Ball State's going to get 51 on us? Yeah. Ball State's all right. You know, but yeah, this is that's bad. Man. Alpina beating Buffalo. Not a very great win here. Buffalo at 4 and 3. Alpina very workmanlike score there. Christian Kemp 344 and 3. Barry Hill didn't really even try to run the football today. Tanner Van Cleek your top receiver. We only lost 38 to 7 to Bowling Green. Only and we nothing. didn't even get 200 yards of offense against Bowling Green. I have only nothing to say about you Ducks. <laughs> nothing. Q. Sean Chambers. One yard Q. Sean gets 2.4 for carry. Aiden, Aiden Troxler, go figure, is our top receiver on the day. So those are the scores from week 10. Let's take a peek ahead here towards week 11. And we'll just talk about these games very, very briefly. You got Toledo Southern Michigan. It's kind of a rivalry game a little bit. Mm -hmm. Budding rivalry. It's a close, it, geographically, regionally, it's a yeah. close match up there. So, You know, you have the 100-something there ranked offense. I don't like your chances. This game, basically a MAC East championship game, Alpena, Kent State. And then you got NIU, OWU, Ohio Western Needy, to rebound in a big way. Top 25 right now. Alpena's got some traffic ahead of them. A lot of undefeated teams. They are still number six in the coaches poll, seventh in the CFP rankings. So they are still within striking distance of the playoff. And Ohio Western still ranked, beating Central Michigan move the, move, will move them back into the top 25. So I don't know. Do you think Alpena can make the playoffs? I don't know. It, it, that's very tough, especially if you're a MAC team. I don't know. It's going to be really tough. But we got Sam Howell and Thompson. Thompson. Walker the third in the lead. Let's take an update a look here at our standings. Like you said, Buffalo pretty much out of it with that loss. Kent State, game behind. They got the offense to hang with Alpena, and they have home field. So we're going to check out that game in a little bit. Western schedule coming up here. With the win over Ohio Western. They lose to Ohio 21-9, so a little bit of a hangover there. They get Eastern Central NIU coming up next. So Western is the team to watch for Ohio Western. And, yeah, it's going to be tough sledding here. The Ospreys will close. NIU, Toledo, Ball State, and you. I'm going to pick you. I think you're going to spoil their season. <laughs> no, I don't actually believe that will happen. But yeah, you got to be kidding me with that. That's where we're at. So let's go to Kent State, Dick's Stadium. Alpena against Kent State. And, like I said, don't sleep on Kent State's offense. They got a pretty good thing going on here with Sean Lewis and Dustin Crum. So let's see if they can get the upset. Nice catch there. Kind of a unique animation. Yeah, I haven't seen that one a whole lot. Marcus Cooper with that catch. Game at 13, first and 10, little QB draw fake. And we got a pass down Whoa. the left side and a bust off the tackle. He's going to be down at the one. you got to be kidding me right now. How is that down at the one yard line? God, he's got the ball over the goal line almost. My goodness. First Crazy. down and goal, and you knew that was going to happen. So Marquez Cooper with a touchdown at the one yard line. Number one scores at the one yard line. So here is Alpina, and they're going to do a third down and 10 screen. It's Love so, it. pr it's just typical. It's just typical. And they'll kick the field goal up and good if I see that dang alpaca. I no, didn't no. see him. He's, he's moved on to bigger and better things. He is done celebrating field goals. Thank he's you. in it for touchdowns. Yes. You know, when he, when we started, he had to celebrate field goals against Penn State because Alpina didn't even score a touchdown in that game. That's true. That's, a, that's true. It's all relative. Yeah. All right, well, here's Calypso Berry Hill. Look at that. Look at the power. The three bust-off tackles to get to the... Where is he at here? Upwards past the 50, first down and 10, but an 18-yard gain by Barry Hill. That's a nice run. And then we got Kemp Jr. lowering the shoulder himself. 
And then we're going to flip this sides here all the way into the second quarter. We're going to flip the sides here. We've got... Ooh, touchdown. Really That's Fresh Martin. Fresh Martin. There's our the alpaca friend, our demon alpaca, celebrating from the nether world, the nether regions hmm. of hell. Mario Jet for 29. <laughs> it's red. What? He's a demon alpaca. Okay, that's the thing. Okay. Well, thanks yeah. for establishing you guys, that. You guys know that Alpina is uh, a very evil place. And yeah, 24 14 right but now. But he looks so lovable, though. Well, that's how he draws you in. It's like Pennywise the clown, right? Mm -hmm. He's like, well, he looks he's evil about to rip your face off. Yeah, but he always looks evil. Second 11 here, can we pitch it? So after a stop, Barry Hill says, nah, -uh, I'm taking this one to the house. Goodbye. So he's showing Kent State what's up here. Alpacas burying Kent State. Baby. The demon alpaca from hell. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's celebrating. Well, guys, 34 to 14. And oh, why do we show kickoffs? Well, we show kickoffs usually because good things happen or bad things happen, but Sometimes, every so often, <laughs> funny things happen. No. Like this man. Like he's like grabbing his his butt. He's like, oh my butt! That's a turf monster, maybe. Something <laughs> brain broke. I hey don't man, know. how did you get injured? Well I pulled my butt muscle. Yeah. That's your glute. Second eleven here. Third quarter expiring. Nice throw to Marquise Darqua. And now it's 41 to 14. Alpacas in business. <laughs> Stupid alpaca. Calypso uh, Burial, your player of the game. 241 yards and two touchdowns. Kent State. They put up a good fight there for the first quarter and a half. But yeah, Alpina showed them what's what here. So, more simulated games here. Toledo over Smoo. 45 to 10. 510 to 207. What do you have to say for yourself? 510 yards to a Toledo offense. They're not bad, but man, oh man, we can't stop anybody. The fact that we have That's a bunch bad. of seniors on this team that are supposed to be our best players, scary. this is very scary for, for next year. So 48 to 14 win here for Alpina. Number six in the land now. They were number seven, so they yeah, have moved up a notch. A virtual clinch here for the Mac East. Looks like Alpina will be in Detroit no matter what happens. And... They are looking good. And Ohio Western takes it to Northern Illinois. Yeah, that was a retribution game, you know? Yeah. Not against Northern Illinois, but that's a nice, like, vengeance game, you know? Hey, we, we we lost a tough tough game against Western, but now we're coming back against a pretty competent opponent in the Huskies. It's a good win. Ohio Western against Toledo, so an Ohio matchup. I almost said watch up. Watch up. <laughs> Mac a back chop. Yeah, and we have... Lake here on Alpina, so I get to get a dose of that medicine that you got in week two. Good luck. And we're taking on the number 10 scoring team, number three turnover. Obviously, we have minus nine turnover differentials, so I'm thinking Alpina might be okay. So they're still number seven in the CFP, six in the coaches after that win. And it's just, this is fun to follow right now because Alpina is on the outskirts of the playoff. And if they keep winning out against these MAC teams, they might get there. Ohio Western, they're saying, we're going to play you in the MAC championship game. Who knows? Alpena definitely rooting for Western Michigan to close things out. All right, what do we get here? We are going to pass on third down only, so we can't run it. So if we get third and short, we got to throw. Them's the rules. We'll see how well Lake Huron can do here. How many sacks do you guys think is going to happen in this game? Just put it in the back of your mind. How many sacks? I'll take six. But yeah, six? we're going to the Alpaca Dome. And you guys know the standings. Lake Huron at 1-5. and five. Alpina 6-0 and oh in the MAC. And this is going to be a tough, tough challenge. Look at all. We are invading the Alpaca Dome. Look at all that teal out there from Port Huron. We're making the trip up north. Look at that. They're in the back of the end zone too, man. Ooh, I mean, we they, are all over the place. Yeah, they're showing out here at the Alpaca Dome. We got more people in Alpina than we have at our home games. <laughs> What's what up a, with that? That's a great play, by the way. Quentin Waterbury with the deflection. Great cornerback. And great. you guys passed on third down, so kudos to you. You did it. One out of one. There's Tanner Van Cleek. Big catch. 12 yards. Kemp. Handing off, Barry Hill oh. throwing him away and gets an 11-yard gain. So you guys know our defense 
flails around, gets shoved around. Oh, like that. Look at that block on the outside. Kemp down at about the two. I can't call that down at the one. No, nope, but they can get a first down. Instead, no, they elect for the touchdown, right? We don't want that touchdown first down. alpacas. Demon alpaca back in the house. God, we Third and seven. See that so many times. Oh, that should have been picked off. Should have been a touchdown there. Ooh, a little offsides maybe? No, you timed that perfectly. Wow, what is but, Walker oh Edding doing? Goodness, he's awful. Wake up, man. Messina can't make the tackle, but man, Walker, he's so bad. That was all CPU. I know I, I flail know. around a lot on defense and and move uh, in bad ways, but look at what, what is he watching, man? He's high. T tackle, stay in front of your man. Don't go running towards the center of the field. What are you doing? We need to come up with a story about Walker Edding, like, why is he even on the football team? Did, did he, like, does he know something? Like, he just, does he a walk on? He doesn't concentrate, you know? You just gotta, you oh, gotta work with him. I, I'm supposed to come over here? Oh. He's a little slow, I guess. You know? Oh, shoot! I ran it on third down and I lost the challenge! I didn't even notice that. I was about to give myself points. Well. And I, I wasn't going to give myself those bonus points. You done screwed up, sir. And I, I messed up. I ran it, and Lake Huron forgot the rules of the game. No points for Lake Huron. God dang it. Well, you know, you're look, probably looking at the score and thinking, like, well, do I want to follow the challenge, or do yeah. I want to abandon the challenge I mean, to try to win the game? The challenges are optional, so you either pass or you fail, but we, we failed. You yep. failed. You have to make a choice in the end, and you made your choice. No chance. No. No points. Well, you thought you could probably win this game. I was willing to roll with the challenge because we have no chance. But Breezy Nickelberry, look at this return. He is our all-star kick returner, man. Fifty yards on the return. Second and seven. Is he? Oh, no. Dizzy. Dizzy Fonseca. <laughs> Prince Ebo with the recovery. Ebo just he's just gonna fall on that. Look at look at that. Nice little move right there. I just thought that was funny the way he tumbled down to the ground. But <laughs> nice play. Third and seven. Christian Kemp throwing it. Tight window to Vinny Tamburo. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to watch you play NHL again. You know? Because you'd be diving Whoa. at people in the puck. Oh my goodness. Kemp Jr. doing a little John Elway yeah. in the end zone. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Not uh, down at the one yard line. 28 to 3. Fourth and inches. Yeah. Like, watch when he plays defensive line, guys. Just watch what happens. He's like diving at the quarterback's legs. How else ankles. am I supposed to get near the quarterback? I don't know. Freak him out. Why don't you jump? You can jump, and, uh, you know, because that's where the ball's coming. Yeah. Keyshawn Chambers, eight seconds. Bear Carrier calling timeout here. We're trying to get into field goal range. He's taking a and, smoke break. And, oh, thought about maybe there. Four seconds. No timeouts. Had to throw it. Oh. And we're just we're trying something a little bit out of Vanderswag's range, and obviously it's twenty-eight to three. So maybe we should have kicked the field goal. Maybe we should have tried it. I don't know. Second ten, Castleberry. No, Bloodsaw bringing down Christian Kemp. Third and three though. Alpina looks like they're in charge here. Let's see if they can give us the death blow. No, Papadopoulos making the tackle. We get the ball back. Third and five. Izzy would roll out cheese. Oh, whoa, Goes the other whoa. way. What? Why? A little extracurricular play. I'm not sure. I maybe I think I I you just didn't throw that way, so I wouldn't get accused of roll out cheese. Fourth and inches, Izzy Fonseca handing it to Hugh Sean Chambers. So our defense is like playing out of their mind here. Relative to what we normally do. But yeah, third and ten. I thought I was following the rules still. On third and ten. No. Here's Calypso Berry Hill. First down. What do you think? What do you think is coming here? Um. They touched. Down, down, down at the. Oh. He got it. Yeah. I'm still um, distraught about that play. <laughs> Going across the field? <laughs> it wasn't very smart. I don't. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap my head around that one. I don't know. You had, didn't have your eyes there, obviously. Yeah. You thought you were. I mean, you were looking at something else. That's all I got. was, yeah. But. It happens a lot. Double day makes the catch, takes a hard hit, and there you go. So you're spinning the wrong yeah. way. What are you doing, Max? <laughs> <laughs> I try to spin upfield, but if you are facing the wrong way, you will Ooh, spin back. Did you see that Escalante got a little uh, shove at the end of the game 
Yeah, you know, only 35 to 3. So, like, defensively, we did really well, except for Walker Edding right there. <laughs> He's a doofus, man. What a klutz, man. Got some old Dominion fans in what the house. What are you doing? Alpina's celebrating really, really hard. And obviously, there's a big history behind this game. You know, who knows what Alpina's doing in the locker room behind closed doors. But obviously, they really, really felt good about winning this game for some reason. I'll leave that to speculation. Act like they won the freaking championship. I know. Ohio Western crushing Toledo, 44-6. to Ohio Western is peaking. Peaking at the right time. What do you think here? Blue I, Savage, 74. I mean... Touchdown catch. I, I don't really have anything to say about that one. I mean, that's, that's it's a good win, so you have to win that game. Yep. But really, it comes down to you need help. You need help. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, Christian Kemp did us in today. You know, <laughs> Lake Huron, like, we tend to do better in the second half, mostly because I'm chewing clock. I'm just letting the clock run just so we don't get completely embarrassed. What does it taste like? What? Clock. Chewing the clock. What does it taste like? It tastes like defeat. I feel like Jameis eating this fat L instead of eating W's. <laughs> Yeah, we've, we've lost a lot of games. We're 1 and 9. You've lost a lot of games. You're 0 and 10. You I got even Eastern talk. coming up. Yeah, Eastern Michigan. Yep, Eastern Southern. Let's take a look here. D minuses to C pluses. There, I mean, yeah, it's not quick, quick snapshot there, but we're, we're going to get toast again. And Ohio Western should win that game. Bowling Green against Alpena. The Don't Zips like Bowling against Green's Lake Huron. This could be it, guys. You could win this game. Yeah, let's see what Akron's been up to. The random huge win over UL Lafayette and they just beat Buffalo but other than that they've been terrible so got a chance Alpina now up to number five in the CFP with their dominating quality win over Lake Huron that's why they were celebrating they knew if they won that game they're likely to move up to number five a top five in the CFP yeah Ohio Western now up to 15 in the CFP they still need help they still need a lot of help they still need couple Western. losses in yep. their way. Western got to keep losing. So with the loss to Ohio, Western is going to be down to 6-2 and two right now. Ball State also 6-2 and two, and Central at 6-2. and two. So we got a log jam here in the MAC West. MAC East obviously been well decided. And then that cellar dweller matchup, Akron Lake Huron. Let's see what we got in store here. They want me to give 30 carries to Kushan Chambers in a winnable football game. <laughs> Not going to happen. I relinquished my challenge points and we're going to win this game. Again? You're going to do yeah. it again? Unfortunately, yes. All right. Well. Q Sean is not the answer today. Good luck. You're Grimes Jr. Big catch. Good for 29. Here's Irons. I like Akron's uniforms. Yeah, they're all right. They're pretty, they're pretty sweet. sweet. Yeah, I like them. They're not better than yours, though. Akron's cool. But, uh, yeah, we're getting done in here by John Zell Norrells. So that's when you know <laughs> things are not looking great. Yeah, I thought I could win this game, man. And we're down 7 nothing, And then oh. Izzy Fonseca gets a face full of Ryan McLean. So the Akron Zips are in business. Here's Norrells again. Whoa, oh, no. Man, come was on. Was that tackle. Who was that? Not sure. Couldn't read it in time. I think it we're down 14 to nothing, and we're getting... We're getting uh, faced here by this kangaroo. Not good. Was that Dinwiddie? Was that a guy? Is well, that was Bloodsaw who should have made the tackle in the backfield. Yeah. A little disappointed in a guy who's brands himself as a as a complete terror. You know. Yeah. I think it's all hype. I, I'm getting that feeling. Look at Perfecto. Oh my go. goodness. But Bloodsaw, I think, talks himself up like he's a little more vicious and crazy than he is. Oh, that's a really nice throw. That's a high-level throw right there from Fonseca. That looked pretty good throw there, buddy. Third is down he? and five. Just, I mean, nobody was open. No. You got to try to make something happen, and he tried his best here. But Vanderswag going to put this one right down the middle with little room to spare. But second down and four, we got Williams Woo! Jr., and Pop then we, there he goes again. He's just diving at feet. Third down and five, and Bloodsaw being usered there, taking away the out routes. Got lucky. Got lucky. Got a little drop there. Maybe you can get a touchdown. There's another catch by Perquet. Perquet makes a per catch. Second down and ten. Nice throw. Outlaw. Touchdown. Good window, man. Izzy's oh. got things going for him here. He's 12 of 20. That's kind of a foul. Oh, what are you doing here? Templeton. Oh, oh. Right there, man. Wow. 
Oh. You could have had it 14 to 11. That was the goal. You should have had it. You've been down a field goal at that point. But here comes Akron. They're charging to the end zone and grinds. Oh, no. That's a touchdown. And now you're down 21 to 9. Got to get better with my tackling. That's definitely something well, when you on get the to-do list. That's hard to do. When you've yeah. got guys that can't match up with the speed or acceleration, it's like you you switch, and then you're like, I got to dive now. Yeah. Here's Tank Stugelmeyer. So I get it. Nine yards. Third and goal. Five seconds left in the third. Going underneath. Julian. Nice. St. Julian. I was a little iffy there. He's about one and a half yard line, but I wanted to use the graphic. 21 to 12 at the half. Yeah. It's it's still winnable. It's still reachable. You guys got to make some plays. That's a nice job right there. Getting the big sack on DJ Irons. That's Castleberry. And now a third and 11 situation here for Akron. No chance. And there you go. Norrell's going to get stopped. Now fourth down and two. Fonseca, get rid of the ball. <laughs> no. His eyes were way too downfield, just trying to look for something. But good yeah. coverage all the way around. He gets dropped. thought my slant guy was going to get more oh, open no. than he was. Now Irons is running. Great field position for Akron. <sighs> Maybe a dumb call there. We'll see if we can hold him. Irons looking around. Nice stop. Lake Huron gets the stop. Going to surrender a field goal, though. Fourth and one, Stugelmeyer. Man, you guys are being aggressive here tonight. Yeah, we have to if we're going to win this game. You got 117 left in the third. Troxler actually makes the catch. This is the game of destiny. Because how else <laughs> would Troxler make receptions? Oh, go Izzy. Izzy. Izzy, get in the end zone. Touchdown. All right. Now you got to go for two, maybe? No? 19. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to. It's, it's. Yeah, we'll see. No, no, we go for the one. So we're now my five. Here's Bloodsaw. Oh, get off him. Dude. No. You gotta get him, Bloodsaw. Come on. If you are the Bloodsaw that you are advertising, you've got to make and that Ace catch. Adams. Or the uh, tackle. Ace Adams is right there. Should have made the tackle. But we get a big hit. Peyton Gutnacht with a <laughs> big hit and a drop for Akron again. Oh, so, my God. You know, I mean, that's what Akron does. They're not very good. So these things happen. Four minutes left. Breezy only gets nine there. Izzy Fonseca rolling out. Don't, Roll out cheese. Oh, Not enough time. Goes down. Don't make a mistake here. You still got some yards to gain. They're going to Lord Boateng. Incomplete there on second down. Third and 18. You pick up 15. Fourth down and three. Another fourth down conversion. Can you got pick it. it up? You got it. St. Julian. Sir, take this away. This is your team. Can you yeah. get to two wins on the season? Let's do it. No. Oh, my God. Q, Sean. Oh, I'm just glad that wasn't a fumble. Bring, Akron was all over this. Bring us home, Lake Huron. Bring us home. Get another win. But on that hit, Izzy Fonseca is out right now, and it's Templeton. Templeton's running and trying to no! hold back. <laughs> oh, my God. He now there, had it. There's he... a couple things running through my mind here. Get it. Accusations of rollout cheese. I had the pass. I said, oh, let me pull back so I can make this throw. Nope, you went over the line of scrimmage. Oh. Now you're dead. And he fumbles the ball. So, you cost me that. This is your fault. <laughs> what? 120 left. <laughing. laughs> it's my I fault? I didn't want to win on rollout cheese. Hey, you okay. already beat me on rollout cheese. What's we the difference? We got the ball back. You know, Izzy Fonseca has a concussion. He's out for the game. Oh so, we got two timeouts here with Kennewick Templeton, who was our starter last year when we played teams like Alma and Adrian and Saginaw Valley. Just get the win. Oh, God. Well, okay. Show he, us I don't think he's got the accuracy. 15 seconds. Ball swatted down. Kennewick Templeton's 2 of 4. 14 seconds. We got one timeout. Just nothing there. I think you're panicking. You're panicking I right might here. be. I don't see anybody open other than St. Julian, but the problem is we got to get further downfield. We don't call the timeout here. Trying oh. something quick. And now with the incomplete pass, god dang it, we should have called timeout earlier, whatever. Three seconds. Templeton, got to get rid of it, and he's just not the arm strength. True Love makes the catch, and we lose. You're welcome. This is your fault. <laughs> if I ran and got that first down, it would oh be people god. barking at me saying, roll out, cheese. You rolled out to the left with the left-handed quarterback, speed runner, cheater. 
I would have heard here's never the, heard the end of it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. As we see another loss here for Smoo. Yeah, let's talk e- about that. Emu Emu gets the win. Um <laughs> 184 for Jack. Switzer only had 30 yards, six attempts, by the way. Hank Hendershot had himself a great game, nine for 120. Ball State loses, like I said, handedly. Oh, oh, oh woo. That Ohio was Western should have got the win. They did. So. That was a big game in the Western Division. So Ball State out. Ohio Western, they just keep rolling. Sim gods here. Yep. Ohio Western Ospreys. Ooh. And Alpina wins 55-24 over Bowling Green. 24 points for Bowling Green. A Bowling Green team that's, you know, okay. Yeah. But How against about, Alpina, it's tough. XP Gilchrist with two touchdown catches. Four turnovers for Bowling Green. Now, if they didn't have those four turnovers, do they? does this game closer? Um, I don't know. XP Gilchrist was a stud, though this game and did you want to finish your thought here we lost um, to Akron it, it's not my fault <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's a uh, you know I've, I've heard the criticisms Listen, over the years lit- and it ran through my head I like know a bolt I of know. lightning and it the little knee, knee jerk thing said no throw it and the game said no nope, too late but here's the here's the thing though here's here's my argument for it because he's a new quarterback right he's got the speed this is part of his game. Yeah. It's what he does. He freaked out. So we got our, our next week's preview here. Alpine is going to close out against Akron. We got Kent Lake here on. We're going to get destroyed. And our final game of the regular season, Ohio Western, Southern Michigan. What is your challenge here today if you choose to accept it? Player lock, running back, linebacker. Yeah, what the hell? How can it hurt us? Well, yeah. I mean, I got nothing to say with that. We're not so playing you are, for anything. You are Switzer here. Yes. At Senior Day. Yes. At Amos Spurgeon Memorial Stadium. Yes. And he's getting a face full of sack on that. It's great. Get sack of money. On, 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 oh. What? Did I you see. not see the Ohio no, Western play? <laughs> Hello. Here's Switzer. Switzer's Look running. Look at CJ, though. So he's making them pay on the ground. So this might end up working out for us. Do a little player lock. I don't know what's happening here, but we got the we're moving the ball right now. Second down. Get out 11. there, Switzer. Switzer makes the catch. He fumbled the no! ball. It slipped right through his hands. The Cody Gatling's got to make the tackle. He does, and oh man, I just I jinxed it. Yeah. Just now, it's ridiculous. It's a wet ball. Theo Pritchard getting it. Was he down though? Risby is talking to him. He's asking him. He, you know. At first, at first glance, it probably looked like he was giving him the business, but he's really asking my head. Hey, CJ, were you down? Were you down? Hey, yeah, CJ, were you, were you down? Were you down, CJ? He is Aussie. You guys yeah. got to remember this. That's Nine right. yard catch by CJ Switzer. No, we are not running the routes that have been assigned to CJ Switzer. <laughs> no. We're improvising a little bit. You know, here we did, and it worked Whoa. out to perfection. Cody Gatling, oh my God. The CPU. Getting it done. Yeah, Dontrell Jack is four of four. Wow, I, this is the answer. It is. You got a player lock. This team. Oh my god. Maybe I'm the problem. Yeah. So now you are taking over. Chase Landon. Chase Landon. All right. And not good. No. Uh, a sea of red here. Um, we, got, West. we got four, four non-ball carriers in the end zone with Louis Savage. <laughs> His first touch of the game and. He just absolutely destroyed everyone on our defense, including my boy here, Chase Landon. I mean, he's too slow. He can't even catch him. They're running away from me now. Yeah. And Savage takes this to the house. It's now 14-7. to And as soon as I'm thinking, like, we had any hope at all, it's starting to go down the drain. Yeah, I mean, this is a tough assignment. You guys have seen the box scores. I mean, Ohio Western is Look killing people move. right now. Easton Buchanan just... He just stole the jock strap of Salamander. Yes, he did. And we're going to hang it look in this. the trophy case. I didn't even get a replay. Dang it, but you guys can go back and look at it, man. It's just ridiculous. But here's Switzer making a catch on third down and 14. So we did cut that back up the middle. we got to move the ball. That's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to accomplish here. Fourth down and five, and Switzer's in, in blocking mode. And we didn't get that job done, but it was enough <laughs> where Hendershot makes the catch. On fourth and five, he gets the first down. Here's Switzer on third and five, and he gets stopped by none other than Leandro Dyson, the NFL safety. Fourth down and inches. Here's to Quellen Faulkner. So we are 
again, player locking the running back, even though Switzer's gone, and we do the read option, and Jack keeps it himself for a gain of eight yards. So Switzer back in the game, but will play action, and we were trying to say, give it to me. Give it to me, oh, coach, but come on. Brockenberry gets stopped at the one. What is that? You've watched football for so many years, you anticipate things like that. You see things like that. You're like, yeah, he's in. But what? Yeah, one yard definitely um, should fall into the end zone. All right, we have a kickoff here. But Why do we show kickoff? Switzer got a touchdown, man. Yeah, that's good. But here's Dyson. You want to know why we keep talking about NFL pedigree? Oh. A caliber player. Because he does things like this. Touchdown. He's amazing. He ran on a straight line, made a couple moves, bust off a tackle, and he's gone. Well, I mean, he is playing Look at basically a Division three team, so that's okay. But he's special. It's pretty good. <laughs> he's special. Here's Buchanan dropping back. Goodness gracious. Make oh. God, you guys are so slow. Stepped out of the two, maybe? Little yeah. toss. That's it's a good play. Lit. I mean, look at we don't have the speed. Oh, it's, just, man. it's just too easy. That was out at the one yard line. Oh, I got it. I yeah, I missed the graphic. That's the first time in years. I just want you to know. And oh. then we're trying to be to call Faulkner and say, Coach, give it to me, coach. Give it to me. Don yeah. Trell, over here. And then Hala Fihi makes the pick. Oh it's man. not a good uh, one second left. Not good communication. Don't give this up. First and ten, the deep bomb, and oh my god, we got a turnover. We'll take it. Doesn't mean anything, but we'll take it. Well, it helps the stat sheet. Less embarrassing of a turnover margin on the season. All things even out. So oh that's god. good. Look at look at Pine. What is that? Look at Pine. A tight end. A it's tight gonna, end? It's just gonna be yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is no way to end your senior day. Oh. There he is again. Yeah, look at how big he is though, you know? He's just tough. He's, he's giving me, like, that second-round pick kind of vibe. Oh, you mean, like, Dulcich? Something. That you I mean, wanted the Lions to take, and they said, nah. He's Yeah, he's more like the dude from, like, Washington. The Cade Otten type of guy. That's what he reminds me of. Well, you notice we're talking about other things rather than this game. Yeah. It's 56-14, guys. Three we're minutes and 20. Oh, yeah, nice Switzer pick up. Yeah, baby, and then this allowed for the deep what? bomb for Mabry Webb. Wow. Look at Mabry Webb. Electric. He even beat Leandro Dyson on that play. Switzer, I don't know what I was doing there with Switzer, but, man, did they make Mabry Webb pay right here. Look at that big <laughs> hit. It's just like, get the F oh out of here, man. God. You want to make a big catch on us like that? Oh, go down. No, and then Switzer can't pick up the blocks here. Yeah, look, There's way too many guys to cover, and... You can't even pick one. Like, look at, like, what do you do? You got Holly V there. You got another dude coming up the right side. It's just tough there. So, congratulations to Ohio Western. Louis Savage over 109. He had 199 yards of total offense. Mm -hmm. Just missed it by one. But he's great. And now we talk about Kent State beating up on you. 55 to 6. Oh, six. my God. It's brutal. 498. Three turnovers. Three times intercepted. That so. was no way to end our season. Izzy. I mean, it kind of was. Izzy, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at it, double day. 11 for a buck 55. Alpina beats Akron 44-77. There's our Paca friend. <laughs> I want to scream. <laughs> That's the uh, idea. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kevin, 321 and 4. Um, <laughs> the, goal, one. the goal of this entire series now is to shut that alpaca <laughs> off. <laughs> I don't want to see it anymore. Yeah. None. Limit it. So since that opening loss to Penn State, where they kicked four field goals, that's what Alpina has done. So they haven't given up more than 24 points. They've only given up more than 14 points once all year outside of that opening game. Big wins at Wisconsin, at Ohio Western. So they have some quality victories. That's bolstering that resume. And they have a little bit of respect carryover from last year. You know, they started the year ranked. So, checking out Alabama. Alabama fell way down for losing to Auburn. So, I Alabama out of the picture right now. That's big for the Alpacas. And as we go down the board, Ohio Western sitting at 11. So, the MAC is getting a lot of respect here. Ooh. Kenneth Walker still sitting pretty for the Heisman. But Trayvon Henderson's right behind him. I think, you know, you need to look, we need to look that up because 
revamped, does a lot of weird things with running backs. It's they yeah. have it. They they go crazy. Running backs go crazy with statistics. Yeah, it might be just like the number one backs soak up all of the attention. But Ohio Western winning the MAC West. Western Michigan collapsing down the stretch. Ohio Western beating Central straight up. So Western did not finish it out. Western had them on the ropes, man. But let's look at our award finalists here. Alpina getting some attention here. Obviously, like the Nagurski, Reggie Strickland beating out. He's getting more love than Kayvon Thibodeau. Christian Kemp for the O'Brien. Let's look at Kemp's numbers. He got 27 touchdowns with three picks, 420 rushing. What are the odds of that number? A lot of, lot of rushing touchdowns, but, you know, I wasn't really impressed with his total yardage. 420? 2,500 yards passing in oh. 420. Yeah. I, no, I, oh, I see what you did there. Right. Uh, De, La De, De La Croix here, top 10 for the Outland. So that's nice to see. A core four. Yep, and he's been injured for a little bit. Maurice Marble for the Lombardi. It's basically he's got five Al sacks. Alpina. Mr. Yeah. Al Alpina. The butt oh, kiss. I'm got... really interested to see if we get anybody on our two teams. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe you might with a kick return. Oh, oh there it is. The breezy, jet. Breezy. Breezy Nickelberry. 15-19 kick return yard. So look, just take a look at the numbers. Dontrell Jack, nine touchdowns and 17 picks, 19-21. I want to puke. <laughs> it's, it wasn't that is very putrid. Good. Nine touchdowns? Yeah, we're looking for Izzy Fonseca. I got six <laughs> with 2011. Uh, we get yeah. Calypso Berryhill, NCAA leader in yards per rush, 8.2. Louis Savage had 11.95 with 13 Ooh, rushing touchdowns. That is so money. Yeah, so uh, Louis Savage, not bad, not bad there. Izzy Fonseca, just checking those numbers out again. 2011 was six and 11 picks, rushing the ball. I mean, this is going to be funny right here. Our top rusher is Sean <laughs> Chambers at 380. I call him one yard Q Sean. He got 3.1. Okay, got to hand it to him. Three touchdowns for Q Sean. <laughs> Othello Doubleday was our stud, though. 62 receptions, oh 713 with three touchdowns. Could you imagine? Three like, touchdowns. Like some people have three touchdowns in a game. You yeah. have a three touchdowns in the season. 12 games. Nicodemus Bloodsaw, one sack. Who are you? You are not as advertised. 62 tackles. Then again, I'm a little disappointed. Well, then again, you know, if you're an offense, you're looking to scheme against him. Yeah. You can easily, like, double team him. Ooh, Dyshawn Douglas. <laughs> Zero touchdowns, four picks. He's terrible. I don't think you have an answer at quarterback right now, Maybe. other than your incoming freshman that we'll talk about well, in a little bit. Nico Billups, too. He's pretty good. But yeah, Switzer was a main guy. He had 4.1, which is good as NFL standards, but man, in college, you got to get upwards of like seven and eight. Five. Six. If you're elite. Yeah. Gatling, 572. Look and Henry shot your top receiver in yards. Six touchdowns there for Gatling as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Too bad most of these guys are going to be gone. Look at the sack totals there for Tatum. Zalamater actually got in as a safety. Got some sacks. Yeah. Uh, Blair with five. St. Brown with three. But, yeah, just like you said, a lot of our guys are seniors and upperclassmen. And uh, this is not going to be good. So Ohio Western did it, guys. They are going to the MAC championship game. And they have a chance to exercise the demon alpaca. Is exercise like the demon that has been haunting their program. They haven't won a MAC championship game in 50 years, as per our intro video. This is their chance to do it, and they would take Alpina out of the college football playoff. So this is it. Yes. The MAC championship. Yes. Is the 100-year curse going to be broken? Can Ohio Western get it done and finally break the curse? Well, we Can still have our curse going on. So, you know, they got a 50-year curse. Yeah. So not as bad. Ours is double that. Yeah. So looking forward to that one. We'll have that one Wednesday. Any final thoughts as we part? Uh, tough season. Probably toughest season I've ever done in college football. Yeah. In this game. Thank God it's over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even go that far because I don't think next year is going to be any no, easier. No, it's really not going to, but that's okay. 
Oh, man. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Leave a like if you like this thing. We will see you back here on Wednesday for Alpina versus Ohio Western in the MAC Championship game here for Season 1 of our MAC Team Builder series. And we will also be covering a recruiting update as well, guys. So we're going to talk about your custom recruits. We're going to talk about our Team Builder team's recruiting boards. Who did they sign? What CPU-generated guys did we grab? How we look in for the future? So on and so forth. That's going to be a nice little update for you all who like the recruiting aspect of each college football series that you watch. So it's going to be a fun one. Championship game, recruiting update, all on next Wednesday. And then by the time next Saturday hits, we're going to be into possibly the college football playoff or the offseason. Depends on how Alpena or Ohio Western get ranked after winning a MAC championship. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Leave a like if you like this thing. We'll see you then. As always, thank you for watching and peace.